so annoying. Hi guys, welcome to Fistar TV where we have rant reviews and recent news. Today I'll be doing three movie reviews. They'll be on American Sniper, John Wick and The Drop. So, the first review is American Sniper and that movie just came out a few days ago on January 16th. I'll read you the movie synopsis. Today all the movie synopsis I read, they're from internetmoviedatabase.com, imdb.com, so I take no credit for them. Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle's pinpoint accuracy saves countless lives in the battlefield and turns him into a legend. Back home to his wife and kids after four tours of duty, however, Chris finds that it's the war he can leave behind. So the cast of this film, like the main stars that we all know, are Bradley Cooper, Sienna Miller and Corey Hardrick. I'm giving a shout out to Corey because he's Tia, um, nah, Tia from Tia and Tamara's sister, sister's husband. Um, he, um, he plays one of the soldiers that work with Bradley Cooper on the battlefield. So this film, I found it was quite good. It had a lot of great action, like um, the battlefield scenes and whilst he's away on the four tours. And it was really nice editing between him being at home and him out on the battlefield. However, I found his wife so annoying. Like, I just don't understand. Like, she obviously she committed to marrying the soldier, so she should have been prepared for everything that comes with it. But this woman is so needy. Like, he clearly has post what's it PTSD. But I don't know. She doesn't seem to understand what that is. Like, she doesn't know her husband the sniper. He be shooting people in the head. I don't know. But um, if you're expecting a fully action-packed war film as I was after hearing this title, you will be disappointed, like I was. Because um, obviously it cuts back and forth between his four tours and him being at home with his wife and family. Um, so for that, the whole family thing, obviously... It's about his whole life. It's based on a biography, like the real man, Chris Carl. So the, clearly that's an important part. But for the movie, I thought it was a bit boring. And the ending, I, I know I can't really say the ending was disappointing because this was really what happened to the man. But I think they could have used a bit more cinema magic. It, was, it wasn't it was great. So for this movie, I give it three out of five stars. The next movie is John Wick. Here's the synopsis. An ex-hitman comes out of retirement to track down gangsters that took everything for him. That's not a really great explanation of what happened, so I'll give you a bit more detail. Basically, at the beginning of the movie, I'm not going to ruin it, so don't worry. At the beginning of the movie, his wife dies. As his last gift, as her last gift to um, her husband, which is played by Keanu Reeves, um, she buys him a dog and... He's like one of those guys that are in love with his car, so she basically gives sends him this dog, which I'm guessing he she sent instructions like when I die, send this dog to my husband. Um, like here's a dog, you need another companion now that I'm gone. So him and his dog, and he goes out with his dog, um, running his errands in his car. He meets like one of these hyped up guys, like my dad's a gangster. Um, tells the guys like how much fuel a car with the car. Can Reese is like, get out of here. I, you're not in my car. The little boy, he get, oh, he's not a little boy, but you may as well call him that. Um, he he gets offended, turns up at his house that night, robs the car, kills his dog. So then it's from there. Um, Can Reese is the exit man seeking his revenge. And like the synopsis said took everything from him because that was the last gift from his wife that only died about two or three days before all of this happened so obviously he's not a happy chappy so that's what the movie's about um i would give that movie a four out of five rating it's action packed everything you love full of fight scenes well not everything you might love but for an action movie it's got it all the storyline is not amazing but action movies they don't tend to be um but yeah i'll definitely give it four out of five the drop the 
I'm not quite sure when this was released, but I think it was the end of 2014. Um, it definitely didn't get the hype it deserved because I think this is really quite a good movie. Bob Saganowski finds himself at the centre of a robbery gone awry and then trying in an investigation that digs deep into the neighbourhood's past where friends, families and foes all work together to make a living no matter the cost. Um, the main stars in this movie are Tom Hardy, Numi Rapace and James Gandolfini. Um, I'm putting pictures over here because I probably didn't say all their names correctly but you definitely would have seen them in other movies. This movie is quite good as well. I, out of these few movies, I wouldn't say any of them were terrible. Um, but I found the story moved a bit, a bit slowly and... Yeah, it just could have been a bit um, quicker paced. Bob's character um, was played very well by Tom Hardy. But... Um, He's a bit like socially awkward. I would say he has something like Asperger's. Like he just doesn't, he doesn't know how to act in social situations. So it's kind of just like samey. But um, it, it works well with his character. It's got the Eastern European um, Mafia. This In this case it's um, Czechians. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty good movie. Um, it's got a nice twist at the end. And... I wouldn't say it's action packed, but it, it has enough action to keep you going. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say I'd give this movie three and a half out of five. So we'll just go through the ratings American Sniper, three out of five. John Wick, four out of five. And The Drop, three and a half out of five. I hope you enjoyed this movie review. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've already seen these movies and if you haven't make sure you go and watch them and then let me know if you agree with what I said. Bye guys.